guys. Thank you so much for coming. Hi, excited. Um, okay, so, well, I'm here in LA since uh, four years ago. And before I came here, I didn't know anything about the city. I am from Venezuela, like half of the room here. <laughs> and um, if you don't know where that is, it's in South America. So back there, we j just hang out in the jungle, naked, <laughs> covering up our parts. And, you know, so uh, <laughs> LA was uh, a very distant thing, like a, like a, like a dreamland, uh, Hollywood especially. So I went up to the only one person I knew that had been here, and it was my, my friend Marisa. You guys know know her so uh, I go up to her cave in, a, in the jungle <laughs> after killing some animals to search for advice about the city I get to her and I tell her Marisa please tell me how is the great city of LA I want to become an actor and she goes like well Mauricio sitting in front of the fire <laughs> it was more like well Mauricio because she had been here for a long time well, Mauricio, uh, you have to be realistic, really, because there's uh, every day, here's some statistics. Every day, there are 2,000 actors that arrive to LA. And every day, there are 2,000 actors that have to leave LA because they were not able to make it. And I'm like, hold on a second. That doesn't make any sense. Are you telling me there are no actors in LA? Bitch, because everyone knows that 2,000 minus 2,000 is zero. That's how dumb I was. I'm still I'm a little dumb because the first thing I did when I came to LA was to enroll myself in a casting director workshop. Uh, if you don't know what that is, well, you have to pay $50 to a casting director so he can reject you and make you feel bad about that. <laughs> so I thought, great, of course, why not? I mean, it's not enough to get rejected 10 times a, 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 a week for free. I, I, I thought it was a great idea to pay $50 to get rejected. So I go up to this uh, casting director and they pair us up. Um, they pair me up with a beautiful, blonde, very tall. And uh, as, a, as an actress, she was uh, very tall and beautiful. So I do the best I can with the scene, and after a while, uh, I do my scene, the guy goes like, well, Mauricio, I love it. I'm like, whoa. So that's the second, the second thing I learned about LA is that people here love a lot. <laughs> you know where I'm coming from, you love your mother, you love your, your children, your spouse, but here everyone loves everything. Like, oh my God, that skirt. Yeah, it cost me three dollars at the thrift store. I love it. It's like, <laughs> Anyways, um, after I do my scene, he goes like, oh my god, I love it. Now, can you do it with an American accent? <laughs> and I'm like, uh, just thinking, this asshole, like, this is my American accent. I mean, don't you think if I spoke any better, I would be speaking like that all the time? <laughs> so I'm like, no, I cannot do an American accent. I can just do British, you asshole. Here's your 50 dollars, bloody butter. And I'm not done with him. Anyways, it is, it, is a, it is hard. It is hard to be an actor here in LA, guys. But I discovered that it's even harder to be an audience member. Because there's so many shitty, shitty, shitty theater out there in here. And we have so many actor friends that we have to support. Like, like your actor friend, Steve. He makes himself called Steve-O for the lack of talent. You know, <laughs> so Steve goes like, hey man, what are you doing tomorrow night? And I'm like, um, nothing. It's more like a question. Uh, because you know that you're not doing anything, and he knows that you are not doing anything because you're ruined. Along with 10 other motherfuckers that live in a two-bedroom house, that's how expensive it is in here. Um, by the way, don't fall for that crap when you're searching for a room in LA, like, uh, creative environment. No, it, it just means it's just like a bunch of unemployed actors trying to steal each other's food. They're gonna steal your food. So anyways, back to Steve. Hey Steve. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing anything. What, what's up? Well man, I want to invite you to my show. It's a physical theater show. Oh, well, great. It's based on a poem of Pablo Coelho. <laughs> Great, man, that sounds excellent. Yeah, the poem is about death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. Let's 
shit me right now. <laughs> uh, you know what? I can't. I can't make it because I don't have any money. Don't worry. It's donation base. Pay what you can. <laughs> Why would I think you wanted to make any money in this life? Anyways. Okay, okay, man, I, I'll do it. You, you don't want to be an asshole. You go support your friend, right? He just came out of rehab, and you want him to <laughs> stop stealing your food and make you feel bad for stealing your food. So, yes, man, I go to your show. So you arrive to the show, the, the, the theater road, which is very depressing. It's just half a block. And there's Steve in the middle of stage wearing his makeup and black. And interest is no good anymore. But I'll tell you what it's good. I'll tell you, and you'll be very grateful. From now on, you are going to make shit up in another language. That always works. Even if you don't speak it, chances are that Steven won't speak it either. So, use some German. No one speaks that. Yeah, man, it was Heisenheim. Heisenheim? Yeah, Heisenheim, I believe. <laughs> or, it was Le Petit de Metilon. Oh, Le Petit de Metilon? Yes, man, and you leave. But you know, really, that Le Petit de Metilon means I hate it. I hated your show, and at the end, I wish you were dead for real. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you. I, I just want to invite you to my show it's tomorrow. It's a physical theater show. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you.